Former WWE superstar and current The Surreal Life contestant CJ Perry has been in a relationship with professional wrestler Miroslav Barnyashev, now known as the Redeemer Miro, for a number of years, both on and off screen. These two began their relationship almost 10 years ago now, and they've survived not only their exit from the WWE, but the equally hazardous decision to move in with one another after having only been dating in less than two years. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Way back in March of 2013, CG and Miro signed on the dotted line to buy a stunning family home in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. Mere months before Miro would make his debut on WWE programming as Alexander Rusev in NXT. Much later that year, Art would imitate life when CJ was brought in to serve as Rusev's on-screen manager, adopting the persona of Lana the Ravishing Russian, much to the delight of millions of fanboys all across the world. While their professional life was heating up on the TV screens every off day, which in the world of professional wrestling doesn't happen all that often, these two would travel back to Tennessee to relax and unwind. CJ and her hubby selected Nashville as their home base, due in large part to its central location. Basically, no matter where they happened to be performing in the country on any given day, they could easily hop on a jet and not have to endure a really long flight back home. According to TMZ, CJ and Mir had already been living together for a full year when they first decided to put down some roots together and it didn't take them long to find this sweet deal. A four bedroom, four bathroom spread situated on 11.56 acres of land for only 644K. The front exterior of this charming home might come across as a little unassuming, but the interior is where things pick up. Stepping foot inside, there's a two-story front foyer with hardwood floors and a central staircase with wrought iron railing that leads up to the second level. But before heading up there, let's check out a few rooms on the main floor first. There's a wide open living space that CJ and Miro no doubt turned into a pretty amazing game room, offering a built-in dartboard and a classic pool hall chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Then their kitchen is more modern and chic, which comes complete with marble countertops, all white appliances and cabinets, as well as a charming little breakfast nook surrounded by windows. Over on the other side of the main floor is the home's formal dining room that includes a chandelier fan hanging overhead and an entire wall of custom-built dark wood cabinets. Upstairs, all you're gonna find up there are the bedrooms and bathrooms, but where this property really excels is with its stunning outside grounds. Not only does it have a custom-made screened-in deck out back that provides all the enjoyment of Tennessee's gorgeous weather without any of those annoying bugs, but if you venture a little further out, you'll see a stunning in-ground pool that's only a few feet away from a nearby jacuzzi. And that's not all. The property also includes its very own basketball court out back, as well as a handful of trails that explore the estate's nearly 12 acres of land to its fullest extent. There is even a charming red barn that comes included with this house, and my best guess is that Miro set himself up a wrestling ring side to practice to his heart's content. Last but definitely not least, the home is set right on top of a pond, so whenever these two are lucky enough to be home, they get to enjoy some peaceful water views. But as nice as this home is, there's one spot inside of it where CJ spends the most amount of her time. I'm talking, of course, about her enviable home gym. CJ Lee's home gym is a pretty thorough, even if it's kind of basic setup, that has a little bit of everything she could possibly need, including her three dogs. CJ originally set this space up in her home's garage during the pandemic, when all of the gyms she'd usually go to were sealed up tight. So over the span of about two weeks, she would put together the perfect gym. To begin with, she ordered herself a bench press. Next, she added a seven foot long barbell that she then attached to the bench to practice her Olympic level lifting with some giant size rubber bumper plates. Even with all of that equipment, filling up space in her garage, CJ still managed to carve out enough room to get in some weight-assisted squats. 
I mean, if I was her, I would think about removing that giant gray couch from the far side of the garage. But I mean, I guess without it being there, her dogs wouldn't have anywhere comfortable to sit to keep an eye on her. After all, I'm not sure that they could make the jump of about 30 inches to perch themselves on her jump box. When it comes time for cardio, CJ invested in an elliptical that she set up right in front of a TV to ensure she's always hitting her benchmark of 45 minutes a day, four days a week, with a little bit of entertainment to help her push through. Last but not least, when she's feeling a little more adventurous, CJ straps herself into her power tower multifunction workout structure that helps with chin-ups and dips. Since uploading that video in April 2020, I can only imagine how CJ's setup has improved. But alas, she hasn't posted an update to fill us in on how things have come along. That being said, there's a very real chance that CJ's current home gym isn't even in Nashville at all. During an appearance on podcast The Sessions with Renee Paquette, CJ's husband Miro would reveal that since earning his first big time WWE payday, he's been cashing his checks on a new piece of real estate every chance he gets. Yes. Reminiscing about his career, Miro recalled how it hit him that any money he was making as a wrestler might not necessarily sustain him for his entire life. So he wound up reading a book titled Rich Dad, Poor Dad to learn more about personal finances, he told Renee. So I started listening to his philosophy, get out of the rap race he's saying in America, nobody's teaching you financial education. They're teaching you to go to school, get a job, do your taxes and blah, blah, blah. He's like, this is bullshit. This is how they want you to slave. Putting what he read to practice, Miro and CJ would invest every pay-per-view payday, something that's generally larger than your average wrestling paycheck, into a new piece of real estate. He explained, I bought my first property cash for $85,000. I put $10,000 in to renovate it. Now it's worth a lot more. I like stuff, don't get me wrong. I have my man cave. I have my video games. I have my Maserati, whatever. But that's nothing at the end end of the day. I need to buy something for the future that's going to bring me money. According to Miro, he now owns over 22 properties, though he didn't go into further detail in regards to where these units are located or if he uses them as anything more than investment properties. As it turns out, CJ would later document one of their many house hunting trips on her YouTube channel. More specifically, a home that they picked up in Los Angeles a couple of years ago in the summer of 2020. As I'm sure most of you have learned by now, a happy wife makes for a happy life. So at that time, Miro put aside his concerns for living in LA to make CJ happy. And it took nearly 14 different stops before they found themselves a brand new piece of property to call their own. Located in the Hollywood Hills, the home they ultimately settled on checked off an important must-have for Miro, a front gate so that he could drive his car through it, close the gates, and park in front of his very own house. The only problem? When CJ and Miro discovered the home, it was about $100,000 over their ideal budget. So they put in an offer to the owners that came in at $150,000 less than the asking price. Much to their surprise, their offer was accepted. Now, CJ Perry and her hubby are the proud owners of homes in both Nashville and Los Angeles. Oh, and apparently 20 other locations all around the country. Though, as Miro already hinted at, the majority of those, if not all, have been put to use as extra sources of income. And for those of you who are here to find out if CJ Perry will ever pop up alongside Miro on AEW TV, well, don't hold your breath. At least not anytime soon. During an interview, Miro told them when asked that exact question, you never know. She's really focused on cjperry.com, her website, and everything it has to do with. She's doing movies, she's producing movies, so she's really, really busy. But in my mind, the Redeemer's mind, his wife is always there, so it's a no-brainer for my gorgeous wife to join my team eventually and walk through Fools together. Well, until that day comes, we'll just have to continue getting our CJ Lee fixed either through her Instagram page or the aforementioned cjperry.com that serves more or less as her own personal OnlyFans. But that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head out, answer me this one question. If you travel the country every day as part of your career, would you prefer to buy a home on the coast in LA or be more centrally located somewhere like Nashville? I mean, I like Nashville better than LA anyway, so I would pick that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a tour. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.